Volume Book 2, Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. I uh, come to you for my Friday Reads video, my weekly recap of what I've been reading and how life is going. And this Friday, I am in a much, much better, uh, much better place. Uh, school this second week is has uh, definitely settled down for me, and I've kind of gotten into a routine, into a groove, and and I'm starting to get this, uh, you know, the remote learning stuff starting to become a little easier, and uh, getting lessons uploaded onto onto uh, our school's been using Google Classroom, and so I've been able to upload lessons onto that, and we've been having a lot of uh, a lot more success than I than uh, what I thought I was going to have, just because. I am not technology or technologically uh, sound in so, at some times, and and uh, I just I didn't have a whole lot of confidence in myself, and and I'm feeling a lot better about it now. I definitely have, you know, a long way to go, but I, I feel better, and I'm in a better groove. So, um, Jason, I hope I look a little better in this video. I know you said last week I <laughs> I looked a little stressed out. I was. And uh, I lost a lot of sleep last week, and and uh, this week I've done a little bit better on my sleep, and I just I just feel better about things, and so um, I'm actually going to be able to get this Friday reads done on a Friday, so that's always good. But anyway, um, you know, like I said, the week's been going. Uh, we've got the kids in the classroom. The majority of them are in the uh, classroom, and and sickness has not hit us yet and so we'll cross our fingers and hope that we can keep the majority of the kids in the, in school for the whole year and you know if everybody's smart about things I, I really think we can um, in our area I think it's it's much easier in our area than in other areas it's just everybody's got to make good decisions but uh, um, you, you got to go into it with you know positive thoughts and that's what I'm trying to do here and so uh, we've gotten everything going you know I'm coaching middle school football and we've got our football going tonight's our last practice before our first game on on uh, Tuesday because of course we don't have we play most of our games on Mondays but uh, we don't have school on Monday because of Labor Day and so um, Tuesday will be our very first game and we got to go on the road and We'll, we'll see where we're at. We'll get kind of, the first game's always kind of a measuring stick to see where you're at and what you need to work on and all that kind of stuff. And we're, we're hoping to see some leadership step up in our on our team. And yeah, I'll, I'll report back next week and tell you how we did and, and just where we're at. But uh, anyway, um, this week in my, in my reading, we've, I, I, I had a middle school teacher give me a book that, really touched me and I, I am I am not usually one that reads a lot of middle school level books um, I know there's a lot of people out there that they read those in the YA books and I just I don't read very many of them but my English teacher at school she had handed me a book and said I really think you're gonna like this you need to try it and so um, I went ahead and tried it and this week it it, it touched me. The, the book that I finished this week was Ghost by Jason Reynolds. I had never read anything by Jason Reynolds before. I'm going to do a book review on this tomorrow. And uh, I've got you know several little notes in there. And um, I'm just really looking forward to talking to you about this book. It, it hit some serious issues. And, and uh, I'll read the back to you. And then, uh, like I said, I'll save the rest of the talk for tomorrow's video. But uh, here it goes. Running. That's all that Ghost, real name Castle Cranshaw, has ever known, but never for a track team. Nope, his game has always been ball. But when Ghost impulsively challenges an elite sprinter to a race and wins, the Olympic medalist track coach sees he has something. Crazy natural talent. Thing is, Ghost has something else. A lot of anger and a past that he tries to outrun. Can Ghost harness his raw talent for speed and meld with the team? Or will his past finally catch up to him? So Ghost is the first of four books in Jason Reynolds' explosive track series about a fast but fiery group of kids who have a shot at the Junior Olympics, but they have a lot to prove first to one another and to themselves. And um, anyway, this is... I can't speak enough of this book. If you've never read this, it'll take you it'll take you you know half an afternoon. It's not very big. It's 180 pages. It flies, 
took me a few days just because, you know, I was getting in the groove of school. So um, it took me three or four days to get it read because uh, I just did little chunks at a time. But uh, I can tell you that the last morning when I finished this up, I was teary-eyed when I finished it. Um, many of you that follow the channel know that if you've watched, you know, some of my videos, I'm pretty open about it. I went into foster care when I was little and and uh, just just a lot of issues that, that come from that and that whole anger thing that he talks about, I can really relate. And, um, it, you know, he's just got a, he's got a past he's got to deal with. And it was extremely, uh, Jason Reynolds does an extremely good job. He looks at it from a middle school kid's point of view, and I thought he did an excellent job, you know, thinking like a middle schooler in the book. So anyway, I'll tell you more about that tomorrow in, our, in my review video. And then it's got a second one in the series called Patina, and I'm going to read that just because I kind of got hooked on this. Like I said, I don't usually get hooked on middle school books, but this is one that I would highly recommend, and it says it was a National Book Award finalist, um, so I must not be the only one that thought it was pretty good. Um, I'm going to read that Patina when i, I got to wait. The kids checked it out at the library, so i got to wait on the kids to get done with it. But this was an excellent, excellent book. Um, I've been piddling away when I don't fall asleep at night with the client. Going to get this one. My my goal for this weekend is I'm going to get this one finished. I'm going to uh, really hammer on this one in the afternoons. Uh, I got to get my grades caught up at school, but other than that, we've got a three day three day weekend, so I'm going to have a little bit of time to read. And um, like I said, John uh, John Grisham, the client. That's the one I'm going to knock out. I'm about halfway through, almost almost halfway through it and it won't take me any time to get it done i just gotta go go get her done um and then when i get done with that grisham i'm just going to continue on my grisham walk that i'd been doing and i'll move right into the chamber and um this book the chamber is and this is this will be for next week i'll get to working on this uh the fbi recorded almost 400 bombings in mississippi from 1964 to 1968, virtually all related to the civil rights movement and almost all involving black churches or black homes. In 1967, in Greenville, Mississippi, known Klan member Sam K. Uh, Cahall is accused of bombing the law offices of Jewish civil rights activist Marvin Kramer, killing Kramer's two sons. Cahall's first trial with an all-white jury and a Klan rally outside the courthouse ends in a hung jury. The retrial, six months later, has the same outcome. Twelve years later, an ambitious district attorney in Greenville reopens the case. Much has changed since 1967, and this time, with a jury of eight whites, four blacks, Cahal is convicted. He is transferred to the state penitentiary at Parchman uh, to await execution on death row. In 1990, in the huge Chicago law firm of Kravitz and Bain, a young lawyer named Adam Hall asked to work on the Cahal uh, case, which the firm has handled as a pro, on a pro bono basis for years. But the case is all but lost, and time is running out. Within weeks, Sam Cahal will finally go to the gas chamber. Why in the world would Adam want to get involved? So um, anyway, this, this is an excellent book. I've, I've read it a few times, but uh, and they made a movie about it. I also would like to start plugging away at Tales of the South Pacific. I have been reading on this. I haven't touched it for a while. Folks, I'm struggling with this book. I have not enjoyed this one like I did the other uh, missioners. I, I have no idea why, but it's I, I got to just kind of get through this one. That's all I know. I just got to get through it because I have I have struggled with it, and I need to get through it so I can move to the next one. Um, I don't know if this one will even stay on my shelf. I might end up getting rid of this one. Or it might stay just to keep the commissioner collection alive, or, or together, you know. So, got to get that one finished. I'm going to be working on that. And then my nonfiction read that I'm going to be working on in the mornings these next uh, this next week is Nixon. And so, uh, anyway, been telling you about that one. I don't need to tell you anymore. He's about ready to resign at Watergate. That's where I'm at in the book. I haven't picked it up in a couple weeks. I need to get back into it. So anyway, no excuses there. It's just life is busy and 
And I find that when I get busy like this and stressed, I tend to read more fiction than I do nonfiction. It's, it's less stressful on me. But um, anyway, those are my, my reads for this week. Oh yeah, I'm also working on, um, I have a Lincoln book by Swanson and um, I'm, I'm reading through that book and I'm gonna get that done at school because we have an SSR period at school that we, we read for 20 minutes every day and the kids get a free read, any book they want to, as long as they're reading, because we're trying to promote reading with them. And so I've been working on that book. One of the kids at school asked me if I'd read that or if I had that, and, and I did not. And it's, a, it's on a little kid level, but it's a pretty good book so far. I'm not very far into it. But um, anyway, BookTube, that has been my reading for the week. I hope everyone is having a great having a great week and getting ready to have a great weekend and um, be looking for some videos tomorrow uh, tomorrow I'll be working on getting some videos up I I think if I do them on Saturdays I can kind of do four or five of them and kind of post them throughout the week since I probably will not have time during the week to do them because I found myself extremely exhausted at night so I'll probably try to do them over the weekend Saturday Sunday and then upload them all, all at once and just get them to come out each day. But um, anyway, BookTube, hope everyone has a great week. Till next time, happy reading.